This is Watch Your Style. My name is Eric. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new version of the AP Royal Oak Offshore. So when AP released these new models, the first thing I thought was it looks the same. Of course it looks the same because the AP Offshore is an iconic watch and there's not really much to change. But as you look closer and closer, there are subtle things that you will notice that change everything on this watch. Number one will be that the pushers and the crown are ceramic and I feel that that is a major upgrade because the older version just had those rubber buttons that they kind of overall just went bad depending on you know how your skin reacted to the rubber sometimes they got really soft and even sometimes they dried out so that was to me was a major advancement that needed to be done you know i like the look of the rubber buttons and the crown but the durability just wasn't there you know if you got some of these savages that would tighten the crown over and over with the finger Freaking crown would end up looking round over a couple years or real minimal because it's worn out. So that was the first thing that I liked with this new series. A couple of the other things you'll notice is that they changed the buckle mechanism. Now, a lot of guys come and tell me they don't like that, but that's because they haven't worn it. The original AP deploying clasp by design and look is really cool. When you wear one, it's not so cool. I think it's a bit uncomfortable, honestly. I think they were just uh, wanted that design. They wanted to keep that trend going with the AP on the buckle, on the deploying class, but it just doesn't work for me. When you try on one of these new style buckles, this is where it's at. It's a narrower version than the diver, so it's not so fat looking. Um, and I think they really hit it right on this one. When you put this strap on, it feels correct. I get it, it doesn't give me the luxury feel of a deploying class, but this is a sports model. You want a deploying class? Get a Royal Oak. You understand what I mean? So, that's another thing you're gonna notice right off the bat with this watch. Some of the other features also include that they finally made a sapphire clear case back, and it's about time, okay? Because all of these Royal Oak offshores the themed editions have some really nice movements and they weren't showing it off and I feel like people needed that. So now, besides all these things I'm saying, now we got clear case back, which adds a lot because we're able to see a little bit of what we're paying for. You don't have to wait till your watch gets opened up by somebody or a watchmaker to finally see what you bought. Um, as far as the crown guards goes, there's a couple of little, little minimal changes that they made they're more aesthetic than functional and the dials are pretty much the same theme you know as, as with the waffle design except that they kind of made they changed up the hands a little bit and the numbers are a bit thinner other than that the dimensions are exactly the same in the watches besides the colors the navy is no longer really the navy which had the white background with the blue sub dials now the navy is just straight up all navy and I kind of like this version, my favorite, you know. Happens to be this is probably the only one that comes from AP with the rubber strap. Uh, then you got this one, which people said replaced the Panda. No more Panda. This is called the Vampire now. I don't know where they come up with these names. I just follow the names that people call them. This one's very nice too, by the way. Uh, you also have the Elephant, which is gray on gray. This one tends to be probably my favorite one. I just feel like it goes with everything. The Safari, you know, I'm not really that happy with the new Safari dial, man. I mean, I kind of like the original cream color of the first variation. Um, I think it's still nice because I'm an AP fan, but um, I just don't, I just think it's the one that I least like, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel yet about it. Uh, I guess the ideal scenario would be to just have all of them, <laughs> you know? But um, I guess if I had to choose one from the whole new lineup, it would probably be the Elephant. And uh, I'm keeping this review on just the stainless offshore models. I've already done a video in the past on the rose gold ones, but um, I would say the Elephant is my favorite one just because I like the gray on gray. I thought it was something different and something fresh.
Retail price stayed the same at $26,000. Uh, you can expect to pay for one of these watches nowadays in the market. You can easily pay um, from retail to as low as $19,500 for an unworn one. Pre-owned ones are right now in the market from $18,000 to $17,500. That's kind of where they're at right now. Uh, it's a fairly new model, so it's gonna be a while before they drop down into the mid-teens. So right now, that's where we're at. As far as the watch game goes, Anytime you have an AP on, I mean, you're obviously somebody that knows about watches, so you're obviously standing strong in the watch game. If you like this video, please like and share. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric, watch your style.